everybody, my name is Lori and welcome to The Icing Artist. So this week I'm going to show you guys how to make a Jake and the Neverlands Pirates cake. So I'm going to start off with two 9x13 cakes I'm going to start carving them down. I've just cut off the one corner of the cake. I'm going to place that onto the other corner and that's to make sure I'm cutting off the exact same size. And this is going to be for the bottom of my pirate ship. Just going to trim a little bit off the ends. And now that I have the shape that I'm looking for, I want to create a template for myself. So just using two pieces of paper that are glued together, I'm just going to draw the outline of the ship and then cut that out. I've also made a template for you guys, so you can go to theicingartist.com and you can print out this template that will help you guys carve out the cake yourself at home. Now that I know that it's the right size, I'm ready to cut out my other cake. And I can just cut it out just using this dimension. I've just drawn on two lines onto my template and that's going to be for the three different parts of my ship. So I'm going to go ahead and cut those out. This is going to be for the front of my ship and then these two back pieces are going to be for the back of the ship. So I'm going to start with the front of the ship. Now. The Jake of the Neverland pirate ship kind of has this little nook in it, so I'm going to cut this out. So I've just sliced down slightly, not going through the whole entire cake, and then I've just sliced across it as well. And that's just going to give a little sliver off of the cake. Now of course I'm making a specific kind of ship, but you guys can do your dimensions of your ship or the shape of whatever kind of pirate ship you guys want to make. Just going to make sure that's a nice level surface. And then I can start putting the back pieces on. Now I know that everything looks good and it's all going to fit. I can take everything off and then start crumb coating my cake to help glue on all these pieces. For my crumb coat, I'm just using a buttercream icing. You can find all of my recipes on theicingartist.com. So I'm just going to do a thin coat of icing all over the cake and this is to really just trap in the crumbs and just add a kind of moisture barrier between my cake and my fondant which we're going to cover later. And again just a little bit more icing for some glue to glue all the cake pieces together. And I'm just going to finish crumb coating the cake. Now for the back part of the ship, I didn't want it to be wobbly at all because it is quite tall. So I've just cut two dowels for the same height of the cake. And I'm just going to insert them into the back and that's just going to help stabilize it a little bit. Just make sure you guys pull those out before you guys cut the cake. Cover them up with some buttercream icing and we're good to go. Now just to smooth my cake a little bit and make sure my crumb coat is nice and seamless before I put on my fondant, I'm just using a piece of paper towel. I'm going to rub that over the entire cake and that's going to help make it nice and smooth. For this cake, you're going to need about four pounds of brown fondant. I'm going to start rolling half of that out. I'm just using some icing sugar to dust my surface so that way my fondant doesn't stick to it. Now that I've got this nice big sheet, I'm just going to wet the back of it using some water. And that's going to help glue my fondant to my ship. Now because this ship is actually an odd shape, it's not like a traditional cake, I'm going to cover it using four different sections of fondant. So I'm going to do both of the sides and then the back and then the front. I'm just going to trim off any of the excess fondant in between. Just using a fondant smoother, I'm just going to smooth everything out as I go. As you can see, you can actually cut the seams pretty well. And we're going to cover up all those seams later so you don't have to worry about that.
And for the back, I've just rolled it over my rolling pin, and then I'm gonna roll it over the back of the ship. Again, make sure it's nice and smooth and tight, and then I can trim off the excess. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I do put out new videos every week. Or you can leave me a comment below and let me know if there's any other videos that you guys would like to see. And don't forget to give a thumbs up. Using a palette knife, I'm just going to make little grain lines, little kind of wooden grain lines going across my ship as the planks. And I'm just going to staker the joints so it looks like wooden planks. And then using a veining tool, I'm just going to add a little bit more dimension for all the grain in each individual plank. I'm going to do that all over the cake. And just make sure when you're doing your grain, it kind of goes with what way the boat would actually have grain direction going in. Now I just have a Duff airbrush machine. So I've mixed black and yellow airbrush color because I actually ran out of brown and I'm just going to airbrush all the different grain lines across the cake just where those kind of seams are I'm going to do that all over the cake and then just give it kind of a once over with the brown and that's going to really add a different dimension of color and add different highlights and everything of course this is an extra step if you guys don't have an airbrush machine that's perfectly fine you can just leave it with the plain brown but it does add a really nice effect you can also add a similar effect using some color dust. I just got this airbrush machine and I'm absolutely loving it. Just brings out the color. And for all of those seam lines, I'm using some yellow fondant. I'm going to roll out a really long log. And then I'm just going to wet along the seam using some water. And then wrap the yellow bit around it. I'm going to add a little extra piece in here where the windows are going to go. And the Jake of the Neverland ship kind of has this big red slide on it. So I'm just rolled out some red fondant. I'm just going to cup it up a bit. And then place it on top of my cake and kind of drape it over the side like you're going to be sliding down into the ocean. And I'm just going to cut out this little door out of some blue fondant. Again, just draw on some kind of lines, just add a little bit extra shape and dimension to the door and add a little handle. Now the pirate ship has these little windows in it, so I've just cut out these little circles. I'm going to cut out the inside of the circle and then just place a little blue circle into the middle of that. And glue those onto my cake using some water. And our pirate ship is finally starting to come together a little bit. And for the cannon, I'm just using some gray fondant. I've rolled out a little log. I'm just going to make a hole in the one end. And then I'm going to wrap the other end in just a little strip of fondant. I'm going to stick a skewer into the back end of it so it can stick into the cake. I'm also going to add a little candle for a little extra 3D effect to my cake. And for the railing, I've rolled out some dark brown fondant. I'm just going to cut out these little pieces and then glue those onto my ship. And I'm going to add these on everywhere that needs to have kind of a railing onto the ship. This cake has lots of steps, but if you break it down, it is actually pretty easy to do. I really had a lot of fun making it and I think my nephews absolutely loved it. I'm just going to wet on the top of them and then add the rest of my railing. Now 
Now for my pirate ship flags and sails. I thought the easiest thing to do would be to do them out of paper. So again, I have left a link in my description box below where you can go to the icingartist.com and you can print out these exact flags if you want to use these on your pirate ship. The templates are right there for you. So I'm just going to cut them out and then we can make them work and put them onto our ship. For this little one, I'm just going to fold it in half because it's going to wrap around the pole. And then for our other two flags, you're going to need to cut a little hole into them. Now, if you have a single hole punch, you can do that, or you can just use an exacto knife and cut out a little circle. You're going to want to do that on the top and the bottom. And then just using a dowel, you're just going to kind of thread that right through. And I've sharpened the one end of my dowel so that way when I hammer it through my cake, it'll go right into the board, holding the flag right straight up. I'm just going to use some glue and glue the top of the flag, and that's going to go on the top of the sail. Now that that's done, I'm just going to hammer it right into my cake. And that's really nice and sturdy there. I'm just going to cap it off with a little ball of yellow fondant. For my cake board, I really wanted to add some water and stuff so we didn't just leave the cake kind of plain like this on the cake board. So using some buttercream icing, I'm just going to cover my entire cake board and just make it really rigidy and rough like water. And I've dyed some gel paste blue, and I'm just going to lightly brush that on top. And that's going to give the water a different kind of color and different effect and just some more dimension, make it look more watery and interesting. I've also added a little sand island, and I've added a little map, and that's going to be for my birthday message. And then I can stick my can into my cake. And now I can add my little plastic figurines, and my cake is ready to go. Well, that's it. Our pirate ship cake is all done and off to the birthday party. I hope you guys really liked it. Don't forget to head on over to theicingartist.com where you can find all of my templates and recipes. They're 100% free and you can print them out. It is so handy, so you're definitely going to want to do that. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I put out new videos like this one and those ones over there every single week, so you guys are definitely not going to want to miss one. A big happy birthday to my two nephews, the happy owner of that big pirate ship cake we just did. Happy birthday, sweeties, and he loves you.